Hi, I'm Mark Fuller. I'm the team pilgrim for Portis Head Church of England. And it's lovely to be able to share with you some of our, uh, our learnings from lockdown. During lockdown, we had a prayer that became really important for us. It's taken from this, from some Diddy Disciples material, which is fantastic, particularly if you're working with younger children. The prayer goes like this. In our heads, in our hearts and all around us, Jesus is here. And it felt important to affirm that, particularly when church has looked very different, when we haven't been able to worship in the ways and the places that are familiar to us. To affirm that Jesus is here, that God is with us. Because having to stop gathering in our church buildings was really painful. And there was a real sense of loss around that. But as we responded and as we adapted, we found creative and fruitful ways of connecting with God, with each other and with the community around us. We listened and we learned so much from those who for, for many years have done church in online and outdoor spaces. And we explored how we might use some of those principles and practices in our own context. As we experimented with that, what did we find? Jesus is with us in our living rooms, in our gardens, just as much as in the church building. We found that Zoom was a really conducive space for deepening relationships and discipleship as we shared together and as we listened to each other. And of course, one of the big challenge, the big challenges facing us now is that we don't lose what we've learnt as restrictions are lifted and as we can start to return to more familiar ways of being church. We're trying to make sure that there is space to both pick up what we need to pick up, as well as continuing to be inspired by fresh ways of doing and being church that we've, uh, we've learned along the journey of the past 18 months. So as we take steps forward, you know, we're gonna try and hold that balance. We're gonna try and be faithful. And also we do need to take some risky steps along the way as we venture out into new opportunities. But we do this knowing that in our heads, in our hearts and all around us, Jesus is here. And we look forward to where and how God is leading us and shaping us.